Hello everybody, my name is Jake Vesusis. I'm back. I'm here to review another Team Fortress 2 figure, so let's take a look. Here is the heavy weapons guy, Team Fortress 2, and he is the blue. He has an extra set of hands, has his minigun, and there's his shotgun. I love the awesome face paint. There's a picture of him and there's a code. It's the heavy. And here we got in the back a um, brief summary of him and the top secret with a picture of him with his gun. And the whole team, the whole blue team. So let's open it up and let's take a look at him. Alright, so we're gonna open it up. I got a nifty mouse cutter to help me open the toy up. Okay, so let's open this up. And Oh, and I forgot to mention this. Every Team Fortress 2 figure comes with its little card that you can use for the in game item. Take them out. Awesome. I'm liking it already. Oh. Gotta do the twisties in here. Put it all there. Okay, we'll twist the rest. Probably should have, <laughs> probably should have twisted them first, but I did not. I just untwisted everything else first. What the heck? Hmm. I'm trying to figure this out. There we go. One was tucked in. For some reason it does for some reason this one doesn't give you a lot of room to work with, so I'm gonna try to be very careful. They put the little clear thing over the heavy's hands. So I'll try and fix this out, figure it out. I'm sorry it's taking me a long time. This is really difficult to untangle because they got it curved up in a loop and I'm trying to get the loop on there out. But I keep getting these two tangled up together. But that's how I know how to open things is that you take them and you untwist them in a circle but for some reason it's not untwisting which is not really making me... Oh, there we go. I think I got it now. I think I did. <laughs> oh, there we go. I did it. I got one. I did it. <laughs> and they put more plastic on the heavy's hands. So let's see if I can get the other one. This one's going to be a little tougher, I think. Uh, a bit. I don't think I can get it. Let's see if I can cut it. Cannot cut at all, which is not making me happy. Okay, I guess that's not gonna work. I'll have to try to get it out best I can. It's not making me happy. I'm getting really annoyed a little bit. 
to get this undone. Oh, nice! They put it on the feet too, so I got I got a lot to un unscrew or untwist. Untwist would probably be better to say. Get the feet good. The torso is the only hard part because as I'm looking at it, there's this like two little bubbles there, and the twist them is like right in between them, like right there, and it's hard to undo the twist. I can tuck it in under the big part around Heavy's body, which I can't even do either. But I got the feet done, so I'm going to take these out, twist these out. I didn't think this would be that much of a hard work. Because, because the sniper I had was not this much hard work. This one's hard to work to do. <laughs> so yeah, let's see here first. Mm. <laughs> it's so difficult, I'm getting so annoyed. Oh, oh I can move it. That'll make it easier. Should make it easier. I'm hoping it is. Mm. Oh, there we go. There, there we go. Now we're getting somewhere. Sorry to make so much noise with the plastic, guys. I'm trying to get this out. And I'm not really doing good. It's still giving me a frustrating headache with it, but I wanted it. How in the. Oh, there we go. Oh, oh. oh, I think we got it, guys. I think I. Nope. Nope. No, no, not really. I'm not doing good. Oh, there we go. Finally. I did it. Finally. I, do... I did it. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> oh my gosh. That took forever. All right. Let's clear all the stuff here. Take tape off of here. I still keep them in there in the little, um, still keep it in this packaging for, um, I keep it in the little plastic it's in, just so it stays good and it won't break or nothing. But let's clear everything, make sure nothing falls off this time. Because I think I lost that scope to the sniper. <laughs> so I got these on Amazon, the sniper and the heavy. So let's take a look at the heavy. Alright, we got them out of the box finally. It took forever, and here's the heavy. Uh, I love the look. He guys, he has and all that. Um, has a fist on each side of his of his body or shirt. Uh, there's his belt. Uh, belt. Uh, his bullets for his minigun, which is right there in the background. Um, the vest, the pouch on the side of him. Hang on a minute. I can move that. The pouch. He has fingerless gloves. And his feet. Now the heavy comes with two hands for something. I don't know what. For the shotgun. I'm guessing. Yeah, these are for the shotgun. Which is right here his shotgun. Which is awesome. I love it. Detailed work is perfect on it. And here we have his minigun. I love the detail work on the minigun. See the little bullets that go inside. So let's take a look at the heavy and do some poses with them. Let's set the camera down. So just like the sniper, his head moves up and down, left to right. Well, a little, it's stiff. 
can move his arms up like that high. You can twist them. You can do a full rotation. Um, the arms do bend. And you can twist the hands. You can move them left and right. Not very well though. And you can pull his legs out. Knees bend good. The feet can move left and right, up and down. Now, the hands here do come off, so you can put his extra hands in the shotgun. And it would look like this. I had to hold the other hand, but. So let's see if we can get him to. Let's see, I don't know how you take off his hands. Oh, you just pull off his hands and you put them back on when you put them on, when you put on the other hands. So let me see if I can get him to bend his arm and see if I can get him to hold his minigun in his hand. Or I'll, there we go. Is that one? Nope. Nope, I was wrong. Wrong one. Wrong handle. Mm. Whoa. He's swinging it around now. We can get in the other hand. <gasps> Have you let go? <laughs> I can't get it in both of his hands. It's sad. There we go. Kind of, there we go. Let's see if I can get him to stand. Now I understand he wants to fall over. I'm trying to get him to stand and hold his feet, hold him back a little. I may need to get a stand for him. Alright, there we go. Well, that's the best way I can get him to stand while he's holding his minigun. I couldn't get the minigun in his hand, but I got him part of his hand there. So yeah, it's the best way I can get Heavy to do it, to shoot his minigun. So now we're going to take the minigun out of his hand and be careful not to bend anything. Um, uh oh, oh no, I didn't, hopefully I didn't break it. Nope, I didn't break it. It's good. I didn't. I don't want to break nothing because I just bought this toy <laughs> uh, on Amazon, and Neca made the Amazon made the um, Neca put these on Amazon, and I'm happy I got the sniper and the heavy. So now I got two each color uniforms for each character. There we go. I think the it still does not want to stand and that's a problem. Maybe now I can get him to stand still. There we go, now I got him. And there he is with a shotgun. Standing, at least the best way I got it. <laughs> I love this toy. I also love the sniper. I could have brought him out both, but I brought him out. So what do you guys think of the Heavy? Do you like him? Do you not like him? Give me a thumbs up or thumbs down. Let me know in the comments below which one should I get next. And I'll do my best on Amazon to buy them. But um, I will say that NECA really did great on the Heavy and the Sniper. It was really great. They did a fantastic job on the Sniper and the Heavy, and I love it a lot. I like it a lot. I give this toy as a Sniper, I give this 100% just as the Sniper. But that's all I gotta say to that, so thank you guys for watching the video, and as always, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.